What's going on guys? Uh, Super Bowl promo is here and to be honest, uh, it's kind of an L. I mean, you know, I'll show you the solos right here. There, there's twice as many solos to play as there were for each of the team of the year uh, to earn a free team of the year player. Um, the only ones that I might do is the daily one just for to complete my daily objectives for winning two games. Um, if I don't have time to play two online. But you see these solos, you have to have um, a couple 85s to unlock these legendary sequences on your team. You have like an 85 Kurt Warner or, you know, just an 85 of any of the players to unlock these solos. Um, I don't know if it's all of them or what, but um, at the end of this, you do get a free NAT 95 overall um, Super Bowl player of your choice. And we're going to look at those cards on the auction house in a minute. But, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of. I'm not feeling the cards because I feel like the cards that I have. I I like to use modern players most of the time, and I know I say that, and I have a, I have a lot of legends on my team. But you know, I'll get I'll get to that later. But these are the packs that you can get for the get uh for the promo, and don't get them. Don't get the packs. They're not worth it. Okay. I, I've watched people open them on YouTube. Um, you know, I'm going to do this Super Bowl collectible thing right here for 50 coins because I think it completes like an objective or something like that. And then you earn an 85 player for doing it. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, all you get is one collectible, but you, for, for doing that, you get another 85 player, you know, that you need for completing the solos. Like I said, I'm probably not going to do the solos. I know you're like, Andrew, you're an idiot. It's a free 95 overall of your choice. And but you can't sell it and I really don't like the players that I have to choose from if that makes sense so you know I I don't know that, that's why that's why I think the promo is an L just, just wait till I show you the cards um, you know it's just like any, it's basically just like any other promo you're just you're turning uh, 83 to 86 overall cards uh, into bigger cards and then you know, whoever I didn't even go over the set and the sets in this video. I just went over the players, but there is a set for you know every year, the first ninety, the first solid legit ninety nine overall player is always whoever the Super Bowl MVP is. And if we're being honest, it's Tom Brady. But um, yeah, I mean it was Tom Brady last year. He already has a ninety five overall playoff card. He got that last year. He got the same two cards last year. So, I mean. You know, I, I don't want to pick the Patriots to win, but it's going to be the Patriots. Like, I mean, let's just be honest. Tom Brady's going to have his sixth Super Bowl. Six, not five. You know, NFL.com needs to correct that. He won his fifth one last year. But, um, yeah, these are the these are the, the, the cards that suck that you need to complete sets, basically. That's all you're opening the packs for is to complete sets. And this right here, this is a... These are the cards that you have to choose from for the NAT uh, solo reward, um, and you can obviously earn them as auctionable versions through set completing sets with the lower overall cards and whatnot. It sounds confusing. I've never, I'm not good at going over promos. I'm sorry, but these that Ted Hendricks, if he was a little bit faster, I might consider copping that car because he's six foot seven, and that's a good user right there. Like, I mean, Anthony Barr. We all know Anthony Barr. Best user in the game because he's fast and he's six five. But this guy's six foot seven. But only thing he's missing is the speed. But this Rodney Harrison also looks solid too. His catching is still at sixty nine. Um, you know, and if your if your defenders don't have seventy or above in catching, they'll pretty much drop picks often. So that's my only issue with him. Uh, Willie Brown, he's always been a good card, good legend card to have over the years. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't had a regular legend card already. But you see we have uh, Franco Harris, fullback, um, you know, Terrell Davis, Rodney Harrison, DeMarcus, DeMarcus Ware, um, you know, was, was my, I hate DeMarcus Ware. I hate everything about the Broncos. I want the Broncos to die in a hole because they took the Super Bowl from us. But that's a different story, you know. Um, and then we have a 95 Kurt Warner, uh, 95 Larry Little. Uh, the Kurt Warner, you know, for about half the coins, you could get the Dan Marino card. It's the same thing. You know, it's the playoff Tom Brady and the, the, the legend Dan Marino card, same thing. Like, same stats, you know, pretty much identical. You know, and then we have Paul Warfield. Like, my, the, my biggest issue with these cards is 
nobody knows who they are. Like, I mean, obviously, everybody, obviously, everybody knows who Kurt Warner is and Demarcus Ware and Terrell Davis, maybe Willie Brown, but like, average. The, the, see, I never knew who that. I never knew who that guy was. Uh, prior to seeing this card, I never knew who he was, and that's the problem. Like, I mean, if I knew who the player, if I know who the players are, like everybody knows who Julio is. Everybody knows who Travis Kelsey, Tom Brady. Um, James Harrison, Antonio Brown, all, all, everybody knows all the current NFL players is what I'm saying, you know, and I have some gameplay from me playing a game in overtime to make the video longer uh, as I continue ranting about this, but that's why I don't like the promo, it, it's because it's because the cards are not well known in real life, like nobody knows the players in real life, so I mean that's that's the main reason why I don't feel like it's worth it. And like in my opinion, the best cards to use, um, Kurt Warner probably. If I didn't have, if I didn't like a mobile QB, I mean I love Steve Young. He's gonna be my QB until we start having problems again. So yeah, and you'll also see I'm starting Fournette over LT because you know I think my I think it's more valuable to have a third down back that can catch screen passes. If you know what I'm saying, like a more, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, overall thoughts on the promo. I think it's a big fat L. You know, I definitely think the uh, playoff promo and the team of the year promo were uh, way better. Um, you know, I'm still trying to grind for that Julio card. As you see, I didn't didn't get it on fourth down, but I was confident in my defense and my defense. Well, you know, we 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 come up clutch. You know, that's just what we are. Um, I pride myself on playing good defense and you know mediocre offense. A little bit, you know. But, uh, yeah, as you see, the QB that everybody has in Mutt right now, Marcus Mariota, um, taking him down. And he gets greedy like me, tries to go for it, but he don't know how to block that blitz I'm sending. So, boom, he's out of here. And just like that, we kick the field goal. Um, <clears throat> if I'm not talking ahead of myself here, uh, we end up kicking the field goal and winning the game. So I just figured I'd show this clip in here just to make the video longer so it, w it would be longer than like five minutes. So, I mean, like I said, promo sucks. I mean, I wouldn't recommend buying the packs. I wouldn't recommend doing anything to do with the promo except for maybe the solos. Um, if you saw any worth in picking one of the 95 overall cars. And if you're like a budget grind, if you're like a budget squad and you're like no money spent, absolutely do those solos. They'll, they'll definitely help you out. But I personally, <laughs> negative seven passing yards. Um, you know, but yeah, if you, if you guys have enjoyed the video, uh, smack a like down below. If you want me to go over promos like this in the future, be sure to let me know. But until then, I'm out. Peace.